Hey guys, how you doing? Big John with J Custom Builds. Happy uh, Monday, I hope you guys are all doing well. So, my knee has got a little, started getting a little infection up here again. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I don't wanna go back on antibiotics, so I'm just trying to take care of it and clean it as best I could. Anyways, uh, I'm out here again, it's, uh, it's gonna be 91 today, man. And it's like, I think it's like 85 out here now. I think it's like 12, I don't know, 1245 um, Pacific Standard Time. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am doing well and uh, I am getting better. I've been going to physical therapy now for a couple weeks. I got like, I think four, four sessions in already and uh, my leg is getting stronger and I'm feeling great. So. Man, I know, you know, we got the election coming up and, uh, you know, there's just a lot of scarcity right now going on. And I know because I'm struggling financially, too. And uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to get this uh, this raffle going again. So I'd really appreciate it, man. First of all, I want to say that I'm grateful. Thank you to all of my customers. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys. Man, I'm so grateful for you guys. And a new customer, just right off the bat, I really don't know, uh, remember what his name was, uh, but thank you. Thank you for entering the giveaway. So we have like 93 slots left. I know that those of you who entered really want to win the bike, and I know that you really don't want to share with anybody, but I'd appreciate it, man, if you could just, you know, even a close friends and family, if you guys could just share the word. I'm still trying to give this 2009 electric glide that's been completely gone through man i don't i don't know what else to say i mean you can look at the videos and know everything i did do it she runs beautiful she's got like forty-two thousand miles on her which isn't a lot and then i have my uh 2010 street glide that uh is uh i call her wolf she's a 2010 and she has twenty-eight thousand miles on it and so you know i haven't been able to do anything for a couple of months so I just wanted to share with you guys how I did. Um, I don't recall if I've already done this or not, but I wanted to share with you guys when I got my brother-in-law's 2013 in December, his uh, soft tail heritage, and I brought it in. And then I just want to do a quick before and after videos and photos. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen that, you could go back into my videos. I'll add some links in there to where you can go back and, and see what I did. And I'll add some links also so you can go back and see the rebuild of uh, Sapphire. That one, I was I was a beginner and I really wasn't uh, knowing what I was doing. You know, I'd never really done any recording or any videoing or anything like that. And so that one, I really didn't get as much stuff done to that one, but on Wolf, you can see the, the entire teardown, the entire rebuild on the 2010 Street Glide. So with that being said, if you guys have not entered my giveaway, man, I'd really appreciate it. Like I said, I have two different men's colors, black and charcoal gray from medium all the way to 4X, 5X. The 5X have to be on special order. I got a couple of 4Xs in and 3Xs. And for the women, I have the black, the rosemary, turquoise, and gray, charcoal gray. And they're really nice too as well. I got a couple of V-necks and the other ones are kind of just regular like this. I thought they were all gonna be V-necks but they gave me whatever they had available, so I just took it. So yeah, I'd appreciate it, man. These, these bikes, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I've been trying to give Sapphire away for a year, uh, two years now, and, and uh, Wolf, it's probably been a year, man. So I'd really like to, to get rid of these 93 hats and t-shirts that I have left and you know raffle off one of these bikes. The winner, like I said, could pick the bike that he or she wants and I will deliver that bike to your door. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing good. I don't know if you guys can see my scar. Got a little tiny cut there and where my scar opened up a little bit. I was rubbing my scar because they said you want to rub it like with your thumb over it and make sure you put lotion or some kind of oil on it. And I, it, I just rubbed it so much that I didn't realize I was peeling the skin and I kind of opened up the scar again, like right there but my leg feels good it's getting it's stronger now i'm able to take some steps inside the house without my walker and uh man i'm grateful for that i'm very grateful for that so wanted to just say hi to all of you guys and uh i hope you guys had a good summer and here we are 
the beginning of fall again. I'm gonna share some videos of this so uh, we can try to get these bikes given away. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video. We were gonna move. Put the trickle charger. Maybe you never move a little bit. Huh? Maybe you never move a little bit. All right. Just move this here for now. Here, I'll back up a little. I'll back up a little piece of shit up. This one I can roll. <laughs> and Angelina can have this bike. Your bike. So she wants it bad, bro. Does she? Yeah. She mentioned that to me. She's like, I saw that little bike, and I was like, that's perfect. For about five minutes. Yeah, she, she liked it a lot. Little shit. So which one are you gonna put up there after I pull it on back? Uh, so let's put, let's let's put his here. Yeah, that's good. And then that one, I can just roll right here like this. When, you know, when I'm ready. It's a little bit too small to fit there. That's very big. Yeah, it leans just like that one. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to take the wheels off. You got enough room over there? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It seems like this is a light bike. Like this bike ain't light. It's really light. It's got no fairing. It's got no brackets. It doesn't have it's got a... a, it's, got a uh, it's got a model shop. Yes. It's uh, down here. See it? Yeah, because I was, yeah. I was, I do a little. That's why they call them soft tail. Oh, oh shit! That's not good. This bearing might be good. It just may need to be tightened. See, it's okay this way. Mm -hmm. But look at that way. Not supposed to do that. I gotta take everything off anyways. So, is that chair comfortable for you over there, bro? Or you want a better chair? It's fine. It's fine? Yeah. Okay. So I was going to get one for me. Oh, you, you got two blue. I'll take a blue. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Chair. A blue chair. You want me to? Blue chair. Where do you want to sit? You want to sit next? Oh, oh, listen. You figure out what, what are you going to do over there? What are you gonna... I'm going to move that table right here. All right. So grab that other table. Grab that right. camera. Let the light is over. Uh, move that up there. Move Put the table way. all the way over there. Move the, move the chair out of the way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Move the bike. Yeah, and all I want to do is put the trickle charger on it. Yeah, I'm not do that to the goal. I'm like, oh, they die. Oh, there you go. You're good right here, bro. Okay. Where's the plug at? So they was so they was getting the drug dealers today, huh? Yeah, bro, they finally got them. Good. See all the little stuff I got. Remember, I told you I wanted these Willy G's. Yeah. The only ones I didn't get is the passenger. I'm gonna move this over for you a little bit so you put your stuff on there. And now I'm gonna put my chair over here. Oh wait, I could get the blue chair, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Here. You can give me that one. I'll sit on that one. I like that one. That one fits my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take this one, bro. Oh, Larry. Yeah. Angelina loves those blue chairs, bro. She's like, do you think that he could get us some more? I don't know, hon. Oh, these chairs. Are good. Yeah, at the end of the summer, everybody started casting in. They're like, oh, the chairs. How much are they? Oh, let me get some. Everybody rushing to get them damn chairs. You got one, bro? What's that? She got a cigar? Mm -hmm. I got the, uh, the ones I ordered, they were they're shorter. What is that, Romeo's? It's the, uh, the Arturo Fuentes. Oh, yeah. And so I was looking at them and I'm going, so I had a longer one the other day. And I was sitting there going, let me see how long it takes me to smoke this damn thing. Like, oh, oh, hand me that phone, bro. It's still recording. If you could turn it off. It's right here on the stand. Oh. <laughs>
So hey guys, I did this when I first started working on the bike. And I'm just doing the same thing now that I'm finishing the bike. These are the new brackets. That's the new wheel. Those are the new brakes. The calipers are rebuilt, new rotors. And that's the back wheel there. The leak has been fixed. New hose down there. Well, she's all loaded up, guys. All strapped down and ready to drop off. I like to strap it down on each side of the upper frame like that. It's like, you know, right above where it can't move. It's right above the, uh, the, uh, the highway bar. And then uh, I like to grab it, you know, from either the uh some some part of the swing arm but it's just kind of busy right here and all kinds of stuff in the way so i just grabbed it back here and it's this bike is super super tight it's not going anywhere and uh i'm gonna keep the saddlebags so i'm gonna fix the saddlebags for them and i'll make a video of how i do that i saw that they were selling the uh these like, uh, these like oval, not oval, they're kind of um, the shape of the top of the bag. And uh, what they do is they're kind of shaped like this, right? But they're more square. And then it has two holes where it bolts like this, but it comes around. Can you see me? It comes around like this, like the shape of the bag. And it goes back around this way. So you put two rivets here and this holds the top of it, so it keeps it up. And then it's kind of like a bar like this, and it, it comes out and it fits right underneath the lip of the bag. You guys who are really into bikes and stuff have probably seen that, but uh, I just found out about them. And apparently they've been out, somebody's been making them for a while because they, you know, had issues with that. And so, and then I hear that you can actually take your bags and like soak them in a tub of like, you know, warm water or hot water, and then you leave them in there for a few minutes 
and then you maybe a couple minutes and then let them get soaked and then you actually um fill them up with like newspaper or or whatever that you can get like wrapping paper or some sort and kind of shape it the way you want it and let it sit out and dry i don't think you want to let it sit out directly in the sun because the sun will i don't know if it'll harm it or not but anyways uh yeah, that's kind of what you want to do. And it actually, once you pull the paper out, it shapes the it shapes the bag. And then if you make those racks, like I'm going to do the bars that actually hold it up upright, his bags will never get saggy again. So I'm going to make a video on that, but I'm going to head to Watsonville because it's actually, I don't know, my watch isn't telling me what time it is right now. It's probably, mm, I don't know. It's probably like close to two, a quarter to two. So I need to get out of here. All right, guys, have a blessed day. So, hey, guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys have not entered my current giveaway, 2009 Ultra, 2010 Street Glide, man, I encourage you guys to go ahead and enter. We have 93 spots left. You can check out the videos. The bikes are beautiful. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I invite you to please do so. Like I said earlier, I'm getting better, and I plan on uh, finishing up the bags on my brother-in-law's bike and then getting all the... Uh, all the accessories on blue this beautiful girl right here i got all new willie g accessories and i plan on getting that stuff done so other than that man i hope you guys are having a good week it's wednesday now it took me a few days to get this finished and uh i'm not as fast as i used to be i had to go over everything and review everything and uh anyways you guys have a great uh week and i look forward to seeing you guys again so do me a favor, head over to jcustombuilds.com, buy yourself a hat, buy yourself a t-shirt, and that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. And hopefully we can sell these 93 soon and get done with this first raffle, man. I want to get this out of the way. And I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, man. So please help me get to that 1000 mark. And then I want to get to the I don't know, man. I want to go as far as I can. I'd love to have 100,000 subscribers. I'd love to have a million subscribers. And I know that's going to take some time, but I'm looking forward to it. So thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.